Hi there, I figure it was about time to give an update on the dome greenhouse. A couple of weeks ago I had to do some repair work on one of the vents. It had pulled out of the frame and when I was putting it all back together I noticed that some of the wood at that hinge spot was rotten so I had to address that. And looking around the rest of the greenhouse I found a few other issues so I'm going to go over those with you and try to come up with uh, what we're going to do to repair everything. So in here there's a hinge, it's just a regular door hinge that allows the vent to open up. And when I went to put it together, um, the screws went right through the wood here. And the outer part doesn't look too bad, but when you start digging into it, it is uh, a little bit soft and, and can pull away. It's not uh, too, too horrible yet, but it doesn't have much life left in it. And it's, it just stays wet constantly from the humidity in here. Again, it's not super horrible, but I can jam a screwdriver into the wood in this area. I get a lot of moisture coming in around the joints and whatnot over in here. Another cause of all the moisture in here is that the tape on all the joints, uh, after about five years or so, the UV has degraded it so badly that it's just cracked open. So any water that comes down into here uh, just goes into the cracks and then it's sitting on that wood and it's soaking it all in. So it's not just the humidity inside the greenhouse, but it's just the outside uh, rain that's getting into here. And also you can see the tape is all disgusting and dirty on the back side. Especially in areas where the water comes down horizontally, it goes in that joint and it goes then into the fluting uh, between the polycarbonate and it's starting to collect all kind of debris and algae and whatnot in uh, between all that fluting. You can see all that tape in here has uh, just rotted out. Even where it meets up with the shed part of the dome, uh, I was relying on that tape almost as a uh, weather stripping and the water's getting into there and getting into the wood on the uh, inside of the dome. So this is the inside where you can see all that wood is just getting soaked. We've had rain for the past couple days so this is uh, a little bit extreme but it's still getting wet and just soaking in so a lot of this wood is just going to start rotting out now. I did grow in here this past year. I sort of let it go to waste. A lot of cherry tomatoes, some other tomatoes, the frost got those. Still have my lemon tree in the middle here and some herbs and whatnot. So I am using the greenhouse but not to its fullest extent mainly because I have the other greenhouse uh, up and running now. The exterior of the shed area is in still in excellent condition. The cedar shakes have weathered nicely. They have a, a typical nice gray patina and the whole exterior of the outer part is looking really good so there's not much worry or repair work that would have to be done with this. So what's the plan for this dome? I'm not 100% sure yet, I'm still weighing the options. It's hard to justify the expense of growing in it when I have the other greenhouse that costs uh, just about the same in electricity to operate as this uh, smaller building and um, I haven't really focused much on it in the past couple of years for growing things. I just sort of set up stuff to grow in here and let it go wild. Um, so I do have a few options. The uh, first is to uh, just tear down the building. Um, it's actually the cheapest option. It'll probably cost about $5,000 or so to uh, tear it down. And uh, I have to deal with getting a demolition permit, uh, get, getting rid of it, all the waste, and then uh, bulldozing the foundation. But uh, taking a look at the foundation, it's in really good shape. So I could also just repair the greenhouse and keep operating it. Um, that's going to cost about uh, $10,000 or so. The uh, polycarbonate should really just get replaced at this point. It's uh, pushing 10 years and it's starting to yellow. And plus with all the debris that's gotten, it, that's gotten into the fluting, um, it's uh, really starting to get dirty and not letting as much light in. Uh, plus with all that tape, uh, the dirt that's on the tape joints isn't uh, very nice looking. So I could just repair the greenhouse and uh, be done with it. Um, I would have to also replace any of the uh, rotten struts in there since that is a structural component. 
Um, what I'm leaning towards is uh, stripping all the polycarbonate off anyways and then uh, repairing any parts that need to be repaired and then just plywood uh, sheathing over the whole thing and shingling it and turning the, uh, the greenhouse more into a workshop. I have some other projects that I work on and uh, have been planning on building a uh, barn and uh, this would work uh, almost as well as a barn and cost a fraction of what it would cost to uh, build a barn. So to, to uh, convert this into a usable workspace, it's probably going to be about $15,000 or so to do that versus 150 or so to uh, build a, a workshop barn. So that's pretty uh, appealing to uh, do something like that. But I'm undecided. I'm going to take a closer look at some of the other structure of the greenhouse and get some pricing uh, with the, all the COVID stuff going on. The uh, price of materials is also uh, skyrocketed, which makes it uh, sort of expensive to fix. So I'll keep you updated as I move along, and we're going to see what happens with this. Thanks for watching.